guys, my name is Shay and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing Good Trouble Season 3, Episode 7, New Moon. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get it. The episode starts off with Malika and the rest of the Coterie members sitting down in a ritual circle and holding hands. Malika tells everyone to take a deep breath in and exhale and to clear the mind of invasive thoughts. It flashes to each member of the Coterie and the thoughts going on inside their mind. It shows Callie and it flashes back to her and Mariana having a conversation about Gael. Mariana asks Kelly if she still has feelings for Gael, and I'm like, of course she does. Who wouldn't? It shows Davia, and it flashes back to her FaceTiming Dennis and asking him if he wants her to wait for him. It shows Deontay, and it flashes back to him telling Malika that you can love more than one person. Malika looks over at Isaac, and it flashes back to her and Isaac in bed, and she asks him to come to her new moon ceremony. He tells her that it's her thing and that he wants to support that. And he is such an amazing boyfriend. Like, oh, like every time I talk about Isaac, I just... Oh, I love him so much. He's amazing. He truly is amazing. Malika tells him that she invited Deontay to, to the ceremony and Isaac is cool with it. It shows Alice and it flashes back to her and Callie talking about Ruby. Alice tells her that after their one night stands, she would hope Ruby would stay for breakfast. She thinks Ruby doesn't like her and Callie reassures Alice that she is funny, kind, and hot. Alice blushes and they suddenly kiss and when I first watched this, I was blown away. I don't know why I got so hyped for some reason and I just couldn't believe that this was happening on my screen right now. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, it was wild. Alice looks over at Callie and they both smile. Deontay comes into the office and gives Malika a crystal that promotes self-love, healing, and protects her relationships. She thanks him for the gift and says that she needs to get back into her spiritual practices and Deontay mentions that there is a new moon coming up. Callie, Mariana, Alice, Dahlia, and Gael arrive first at the ceremony, and Malika thanks them for coming. Matt shows up and thanks Davia for inviting him. Davia is being all touchy-feely with Gael, and Matt thinks that they are together, while Davia is also trying to set up Matt and Gael. Like, the whole thing is just completely awkward. <laughs> oh. Matt asks her what exactly is this new moon ceremony, and Davia replies that they all make a wish and rub the crystal or something. Kelly is completely decked out in the Twilight film merchandise, and is disappointed to hear that they are not watching the new film, the new moon film of the saga. Gael corrects her and says that everyone is setting intentions and goals, and Kelly is not here for that, and she leaves. Like, Kelly is definitely a character, like, let me tell you. <laughs> and she is hilarious, I love her. Isaac and Deontay show up at the same time, and Malika greets them. Isaac brings her a gift to clear negative energy, and they kiss, and Deontay makes a face when they kiss, and I'm like, oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Callie and Mariana talk about the ceremony. Mariana receives a text from Claire asking can they talk in person because it's about Raj. It flashes back to Mariana putting a box of Raj's belongings on the kitchen table. She mentions to Callie how Raj told her to leave it on the table because he doesn't want to see her. She says she is sad how their relationship is over and says that she still loves him even though she's happy with Evan but it's hard to let go. As she is telling Kelly this, it shows Mariana packing up Raj's stuff and she sees his NASA t-shirt and puts it in her drawer. Malika comes over to Callie and Mariana, asking them to put their phones in the basket to be present in the moment. Mariana lies and says that she has a work emergency and tells Malika to start without her. Davia is telling Gael and Matt about what they have in common and trying to force a connection between these two. The guys get the feeling that something is off and Davia leaves to go talk to Alice. Davia sees Alice staring affectionately at Callie from across the way. <laughs> Davia questions her about it and it flashes back to Alice and Ruby in bed. Ruby rushes to get ready to leave and Alice invites her to stay for breakfast. And she says again that she just wants things to be casual. Ruby leaves and Callie knocks on the door and checks on Alice. She asks as Allie if she if she wants to talk and it flashes back to reality alice tells davia that she is in love with kelly and i'm like say what <laughs> mariana facetimes claire and claire tells her that she and raj have been texting back and forth she mentions how she would never cross that line without mariana's blessing mariana sees raj picking up his box and ends the video call with claire she goes over to talk to raj and things are awkward raj is saying very little and he asks mariana about his national t-shirt Mariana lies and says that the shirt is probably at his place. Raj picks up his box to leave and Mariana hears an animal noise coming from the living room. The animal knocks over the knocks over a lamp and chases Mariana and Raj. As Mariana and Raj are running, dramatic music starts playing and this episode immediately turns into a horror flick. 
And from this moment on, I was dying from laughing at almost every scene. Seriously. <laughs> they both run into the bathroom in separate stalls and are freaking out. Malika starts the ceremony and uses the gift that Isa gave her and passes it around so everyone can smudge themselves to cleanse negative energy. Mariana and Raj are debating on what exactly was a wild animal trying to attack them. They both decide to call animal control. Everyone joins hands and there is a whole lot of awkwardness and tensioning happening between Deontay, Malika, and Isaac, Callie and Alice, Gael and Callie, and Dottie and Matt. <laughs> but I mean, all this tension and awkwardness, it just made me enjoy the episode so much more. And then of course this whole raccoon mess. <laughs> Callie asks Alice if she made things awkward between them and Alice replies that she didn't. Callie looks over at Gael, and that moment had me so excited. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> yes. Malika tells everyone that the new moon is a chance for them to renew commitments that are not in alignment with their path, purpose, or dreams. She also says that it reminds them to check in with themselves and reveals their true heart's desire. It flashes back to Deontay texting his girlfriend and Malika questioning him. He mentions that the girlfriend is mad. Because he finished This Is Us without her, and Malika agrees. She asks Deontay if it bothered him that his girlfriend is seeing somebody else, and he replies that it did at first, but therapy has helped. He says that their relationship got deeper after that. Malika asks Deontay if he would be interested in having another girlfriend, and Deontay replies that he might be. Malika tries to change the subject, and I'm like, why would you even ask him that question when you already knew the answer? Like, girl, stop. Uh, <laughs> stop. Back to back at the ceremony, Malika says that this is the time for everyone to give, to ask for what they want and give themselves the permission to have it. It flashes back to Callie, Davia, and Alice thinking about their intimate experiences. It shows Gally, uh, Ka Gael and Callie, Dennis and Davia, and Alice and Ka uh, Callie kissing. It also shows Malika thinking about touching Deontay in martial arts class. Malika stops and tells everyone to write down their intentions for the new moon cycle. Callie leaves to check on Mariana, and Gael watches her walk away. Davia looks over at Matt and Gael, and it flashes back to her conversation with Gael about Callie. He says that he wonders if he and Callie started out as friends and not just had a physical connection. Maybe things will be different. He mentions maybe that's the reason she picked Jamie over him, and I'm like, no. Gael questions Davia about Matt and says that he is a good guy. Gael says that Matt is cute and says that he would tap that. And that's how she got the idea to set up Matt and Gael, because I was wondering, I'm like, what? But now it's starting to make sense. Raj and Mariana are communicating between the stalls, and she is talking to animal control. She asks a question about snakes coming into the toilet from the sewer, and she tells Raj that he can come and talk to them himself. He rushes out of, out of the stall and into Mariana's. <laughs> that was funny, because he was literally rushing. It's like, even though you're scared, Raj, you have to be the man in this, in this situation and take charge and not physically show that you are afraid. He talks to them and the animal control is sending someone over. He tries to leave and Mariana tells him that she feels safer with him in there with her. They catch up and she questions him about his dating life. He tells her that he has seen someone and that he doesn't want to say because Mariana knows the woman. Mariana tells Raj to go back to his stall and texts Claire saying that she knows her and Raj are dating and that she lied to her. The horror flick is still going on and Callie is looking for Mariana. She picks up Raj's box off the floor. Malika tells everyone after writing their intentions, they will burn them to release them into the universe. Malika says that she forgot a metal pot and Gael goes to grab one from the kitchen. Davia tells Matt that him and Gael wrote down a lot of intentions and that's one more thing they have in common. And I think the main reason why Davia is pushing this so hard to set them up is because she's trying to ignore the fact that she has feelings for him too. Back to, back to the horror flick, Callie is in Mariana's room and looks under her bed and sees the animal glowing eyes. She rushes into the closet and Gael hears Callie screaming for help and rushes over to her. Callie opens the door and pulls Gael into the closet with her. She tells him that they have to do something and wonders if, they, that if the thing got already got Mariana. <laughs> Mariana gets a video call from Claire saying that she is telling the truth and swears that she is not dating Raj. Mariana mentions that Raj is seeing someone, and Claire asks her to ask Raj if their relationship is serious and exclusive. And Claire literally has Mariana being the matchmaker in this situation with her ex-boyfriend and her business partner. Can you say awkward? <laughs> Raj says that the relationship is new, nothing serious, and not exclusive. Malika asks everyone if they brought a meaningful object to connect their intentions to. Davia says that she left her item in her room and asks Matt to come with her. The horror flick is still continuing to go on, and as Davia and Matt are approaching her room, Callie and Gael burst out of the closet. Both of them are completely overdressed from head to toe, and Gael is wearing a light pink coat with hearts on it. Backwards, by the way. <laughs> and that part had me cracking up. 
Like, I'm like, oh, he looks so adorable. <laughs> they inform them of the wild animal that's roaming around, ready to attack in the coterie. They tell them to stay in their loft until they trap them. Callie questions Gael and says that they are going to trap them. And Gael replies that she assumed they were going to kill them. And she says, no, of course not. <laughs> That little back and forth was really cute and funny. Davia says that it is probably just a fat squirrel and that they all see a raccoon in the kitchen on its legs. They all scream and run away. And Davia and Matt run into her room while Callie and Gael try to run out the front door and see another raccoon and bump into each other and go in separate rooms. Davia comes up with the idea of them staying on the bed and says that there aren't many places for the raccoons to hide but under the bed. Gael comes into the bathroom and he and Raj catch up and informs them of the wild raccoons. Davia and Matt are standing on the bed, and Matt goes to look under the bed, and Davia stops him. She says it might rip out his eyes or something, so they should jump on the bed to scare it out of hiding. They begin to jump on the bed and wind up having a lot of fun and enjoying it. They do a lot of jumping, which causes the bed to break and fall on the floor. And this was a really cute moment. Back at the ceremony is just Malika, Isaac, and Dante. Malika says that they should call it quits, seeing as how everyone bailed. Both Isaac and Deontay agree for the three of them to finish the ceremony. Davia and Matt are talking, and he asks her about her relationship with Gael. He originally thought that her and Gael were together, and she corrects him and says that Gael is her friend and that she's dating Dennis, who is away on a retreat. She mentions that Gael is single, and he thought that Matt was cute. He takes the compliment, and Davia mentions that Gael is also bi, and Matt looks confused. It flashes back to Matt telling the equity committee members that he wants to form an LGBTQ student affinity group, he says that he knows from personal experience how hard it is to have a place where you feel like you belong. Connecting the dots, that's how Davia came up with a plan to try to set up Matt and D Matt and Gael. Because I was really trying to figure it out, and I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But also, she was trying so hard to force this connection and to make it work between those two to run away and hide from the fact that she has feelings for him too. So, Matt tells Davia that he is not bisexual. He mentions that his twin brother is queer and watched him go through a lot. Matt asks her if she invited him to the ceremony to set him up with Gael, and she tells him that she did. They both tell each other that they that they like the other. Back to our scheduled horror flick programming. <laughs> Callie is in Alice's room and hears a noise from the door. That noise turns out to be Alice, and they talk about everything that is going on. Malika, Isaac, and Deontay are completing the ceremony by doing this ritual in the pool. The way the scene, the scene was shot was absolutely beautiful. Matt asks Davia about what's going on with her and Dennis, and it flashes back to her video call with Dennis. Davia says that she will wait for him if that's what he truly wants, and Davia reassures him that she loves him, and he tells her that he loves her too. He says that he doesn't know how long or if he will ever feel whole again. He says that it's not fair for him to ask Davia to wait for him, and that broke my heart. As much as I was read so ready to see them start a relationship this season, I guess it's just not meant to happen right now. And it sucks. <laughs> it really does. Davia says that she doesn't know really what's going on between them at the moment. Matt says that the retreat has opposite meanings. Retreat as a noun means refuge or haven, but a verb, it means to run away. The horror flick is coming to an end, and Gael tells Alice and Callie that they need something to catch the raccoons in. Alice breaks out her gear for her from her softball uh, playing days and she says that she will catch them with her bare hands and I'm like okay Alice you can do that if you want to you can wind up getting rabies or something <laughs> they all charge out of their rooms Mariana apologizes for the crazy night and tells Raj that she has missed him Raj says that he has missed her too and the craziness that happens at the coterie he tries to kiss her and Mariana rejects it and Raj says that he is bad at this Alice asks his why they are not waiting for animal control to arrive, and Gael replies that none of them had their phones to call and warn everyone else. They see the raccoon licking beer from a bottle, and it goes into the garbage. Gael rushes and flips the garbage over to trap the raccoon. The raccoon is still able to move the garbage around, and Alice puts some books on top of it to hold the garbage in place. Kelly comes out of her room, and everyone is screaming and shouting. Mariana and Raj come out of the bathroom with a plunger and a toilet brush as their choice of weapons. <laughs> And that was mad funny. Like, Gael, he also had a pair of stiletto heels as a weapon, so I'm not mad at it. Like, especially in a, in a horror flick, you have to use whatever you can get your hands on to defend yourself. So do what you gotta do. <laughs> do what you gotta do. They tell Kelly about the raccoons loose in the coterie, and she immediately makes a face. The final scene in the bone-chilling horror flick is the raccoon jumps into the pool and swims towards Malika, Isaac, and Deontay. And that raccoon was swimming hella fast. <laughs> Just kicking his legs, like, okay. <laughs> okay, and all three of them, they rush out of the pool. 
Alice, Kelly, and Gael lie and say that they, they didn't call animal control and that it was a false alarm. Kelly comes out and thanks them for covering for her. Kelly tells everyone that Lucy and Ethel, the names of the raccoons, are a part of an animal troupe and says that she was watching them while their trainer is out of town. She th thought that her waking up in the middle of the night releasing the raccoons from their cages was a dream and turns out it wasn't. Gael holds the raccoon and Kelly tells him that the raccoon has his eyes. Raj apologizes to Mariana for trying to kiss her and says that he misread the signals. She tells him she knows about him and Claire and says that Claire really likes him. She gives him his nasty t-shirt back. They say goodbye and, and hug and Raj leaves. Callie and Gael are on the rooftop drinking and talking about the craziness of the night. They talk and laugh. He says that him and Callie make a pretty good team. And he also says that it's fun having fun with Callie. And she agrees. He goes to his room to rest after all that crazy ra raccoon hunting. Malika, Isaac, and Deontay are sitting around and talking. Isaac says that it's sad Deontay's girlfriend messed out on all the fun. And Deontay replies that she is with her other boyfriend. Isaac questions him about being in an open relationship. And Deontay corrects him and says that it is a poly relationship. Davia apologizes for Matt for the night. And he apologizes for breaking her bed. She, she asks him if the offer for them going out for drinks still stand. And Matt tells her that they do. They tell each other goodnight and smile. And this was really cute. Davia asks Alice why she thinks she is in love with Callie. And it flashes back to Callie coming to Alice's room. She tells Alice she is short on rent, and Alice tells her to not worry about it and to get it to her whenever she can. Back to reality, Alice tells her that she went back to sleep and dreamt that her and Callie kissed and that it was hot. And I'm like, you can say that again, because when I first watched it, I was, my mouth was on the floor watching that. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, it was amazing. Davia tells her that dreams represent feelings or something that you are trying to work out. She asks Ali what kind of woman does Callie represent to her, and Alice replies that she is unattainable and intimidating. She mentions how she is referring to Ruby and says that she has always been in the passenger seat when it comes to her relationships. Davia gives her the courage to take the will so she can stop having dreams about Callie. Callie overhears their conversation and questions Davia about it. Davia makes a facial expression that was hilarious. Alice gets a text from Ruby saying they can have an, another one night stand and Alice texts back saying that she is busy. Malika and Isaac are talking about the ceremony. He says that it was illuminating and noticed that Malika didn't seem surprised when Deontay said that he was in a poly relationship. She says that she knew and that it wasn't a big deal. He questions Malika why she didn't tell him about it and she replies that there wasn't anything to talk about. The episode ends with Isaac asking Malika if she is interested in being in a relationship with Deontay and I'm like of course she is. And I just hate that the writers are doing this, like just trying everything that they can to sabotage the the only stable relationship on the show. I just, ugh, I hate it. And then this whole love triangle thing, I do not want to see it. I cannot, I cannot stress that enough. I don't want to see it. To wrap up this video, I'm going to do three quick things. First, my quick thoughts on the episode. I enjoyed this episode so, so, so much. It truly had me laughing from beginning to almost the end of the episode. It was lighthearted and super fun with the craziness of the raccoons and everyone trying to survive like they are in a horror flick. It was hilarious. This was my favorite episode of the season so far and definitely of the entire series, period. Second, my thoughts on next week's promo. It shows Kathleen asking... What's the deal with Callie and the Ken doll, referring to Jamie, and she tells her that she knows about her being investigated by the FBI. It also shows Malika saying that she has feelings for someone else, and I think she is telling this to a therapist. It also shows Malika telling a therapist, why can't one relationship be enough? And that's what I'm saying. We will see what goes down next week. Third, I'm going to do a quick rapid fire of the episode. Favorite scene, almost every scene with the Coterie members and the raccoons, like all of those scenes were hilarious and it's just hard for me to pick just one favorite. So I would say every scene, every scene. Favorite quote, maybe we can wait for it to get drunk and start singing Boys to Men until it passes out. <laughs> By Alice, referring to the raccoons, that was hilarious. <laughs> favorite duo, Callie and Gael, of course, I'm team Gally all the way. And just seeing them together and team up to survive against the raccoons was cute and so hilarious. And I'm glad that they had that moment in the end of the episode with them realizing that they have missed hanging out with each other and just having fun. So I love that. And I love them together. <laughs> Favorite look, Davia's overalls with her long sleeve blouse underneath. My WTF moment, Malika asking Deontay if he would be interested in having another girlfriend when she already knew the answer to that question. And also because she is only asking him that because she is referring to herself. So I'm like, girl, ugh, I just hate it. <laughs>
I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Good Trouble. I review other shows like Grownish, All American, Riverdale, and Legacies. And if those interest you, please check out those videos on my channel and subscribe. Let's keep the conversation going and let me know your thoughts about the episode in the comments. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe and see you guys next week.